Salmonellosis is a common type of food poisoning. Certain types of salmonella bacteria are often called salmonella because it results in infection. It is caused primarily by S. typhermium and S. enteritis, which are the two most common salmonella serotypes. Serotypes are distinct variations within a species of bacteria of different individuals. Contamination is mainly from two sources, food products from diseased poultry, hogs, and cattle, and wholesome food that were exposed to infected feasible matter during food storage and during food preparation. However, estimates show that there are 1.4 million cases of salmonella that occur annually. That's a very large number. Now that we know what salmonella is, let's get into more detail about this bacteria. Taxonomy the basic classification of Salmonella, which is their taxonomy, is fairly complex. It consists of the kingdom, which is the eubacteria, the phylum, which is the protobacteria, class, which is gamma protobacteria, order, enterobacteriaceae, the family, which is enterobacteriaceae, the genus, which is Salmonella, the species, which are S. enterica and S. bongori. This is a phylogenetic tree of Salmonella. It is shown that Salmonella is a large genus within the family enterobacteriaceae that splits up into two species. S. enterica and S. bongori. S. enterica contains six subspecies. There have been identified over 2,300 types of Salmonella serotype bacteria, but with subspecies one of S. enterica being the majority of being pathogenic for humans. Structure and function. Salmonella is a rod-shaped, gram-negative, non-spore-forming anaerobic bacille that is measured 2 to 3 um by length and 0.7 to 1.5 um by diameter. Gram-negative means that the bacteria does not retain the violet dye when stained by Graham's method because it has a relatively thin cell wall and are resistant to the effects of antibiotics or the actions of the body's immune cells. Salmonella has basic bacterial structures such as cell wall, flagellum, capsule, plasma membrane, ribosome, and DNA. But what is unique about it is that it has a special needle-like organelle that injects portions into cells. This helps them deliver their toxins into the host cell. The function of every bacterium is to reproduce. Salmonella is a bacteria that has to find the right conditions by reproducing in order to sustain its growth. Most find a habitat which consists of the intestinal tract of animals and humans. Movement and Dispersal The dispersal of Salmonella can be happen through direct and indirect contact. Direct contact is one way that someone can get Salmonella such as the consumption of something that is infected with this bacteria. Examples of this include touching or handling certain reptiles and amphibians such as snakes, lizards, and turtles. Many of these types of animals carry salmonella on their skin. This makes it easy for humans to contract this bacteria. An example of indirect contact happening is when contaminated animal feces reach soil, vegetables, farm animals, and well water. This can also happen in areas where food is stored. If raw or fresh vegetables and meat leak or come into contact with cooked food, someone could digest salmonella bacteria unknowingly. Transmission of the bacteria can move from one host to another through the air. There is a higher chance of the bacteria to spread in a crowded air where the air is stale. Life cycle and reproduction. In order for Salmonella to reproduce or survive, it must have a host cell. Only certain strains of Salmonella bacteria can live for a semi-long period outside a host's body. Salmonella reproduces asexually through binary fission. Binary fission is a subdivision of a cell, single-stranded DNA replicating then attaching to opposite ends of the cell and then the cell pulling apart. Through reproduction, two identical cells are formed from the original bacteria. The reproduction occurs at a rapid rate, producing 20 to 40 minutes in prime conditions. The new cells then go through lit lytic cycle to continue reproducing. Once salmonella has entered the body, the bacteria will begin to grow. A common species mentioned earlier was S. typhurium, where it is found in poultry flocks and affects humans such as a gut infection. Now we are going to talk about how it reproduces inside a human body. The infection starts from eating contaminated food or water and traveling down to the intestine where it might not have been killed. Salmonella swims with its flagella and eventually attaches to the epithelial cells. This is where it starts to invade the interior of the cells. The bacteria uses a special needle-like organelle to deliver its toxins inside the intestinal host cells. It then injects toxins such as proteins known as CYP-A. Inside the host cell, the infectors interact with the cellular proteins and lipids and manipulate their functions. The injected salmonella effectors activate specific host proteins, inducing change in the cytal skeleton. This results the epithelial cell membrane to expand outward. This process is where the engulfing happens until it is completely taken by the interior of the host cell. During the engulfment of the bacteria, the vacuole membrane injects different types of salmonella effectors. This makes the salmonella bacteria to replicate and spread rapidly. 
The replication continues, making the human body have certain side effects such as sickness, which will be talked about later. Habitat. 